Hey, God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Hey, I want for you guys, I want you guys to think about this. And I want for you guys, my prayer is that this word truly gets embedded into your heart. I want you to put your hands like this. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Look inside your palms. Do you know that there's power? Do you know that there's power in your hands? Do you know that there's power in your touch? Do you know that there's power in contact? Do you know that virtue from Christ in you is the hope of glory that manifests for them when you lay hands upon them? What is vexing them, what is tormenting them, and what is oppressing them by the touch of the Spirit of God as a conduit, as His Spirit and the power of the living Christ flows through these hands upon that body, can cast out devils, can heal sicknesses, diseases, spirit of infirmity, get out, go and never again return. Be thou loosed and be thou cast into the sea and be bound there forever until the day of judgment in Jesus name. See in these hands, and I know sometimes we look at ourselves sometimes too normal and or natural. And a lot of times we associate or label ourselves more human being than spirit being, not realizing and understanding that your true nature is spirit, that your true eternal being is spirit because your human nature is going to go one day to the ground and the carnal mind and flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom. But your spirit, which is your true nature, which is in Christ, born again from above, seated in heavenly places, is eternal, eternal forever. So when you lay hands, though we are in the human posture, we are in the human flesh on earth as it is in heaven, agreeing with the spirit of truth who is within you that confirms the power of his word working through you to touch the lives and the hearts of God's people to bring to them what they have need of because through these hands and through the power of your touch, can bring about the miracle that God's people need. And I'm telling you, Helen, brothers and sisters, do not hesitate. Husbands and wives, do not neglect touching each other. Do not resist and get to sitting next to one another, grab each other's hand, touch one another, because there's power that is released from the from the spirit not only from the spirit of God within, but from the human contact of what Christ has joined together to be a blessing. Where two or more gather in my name, there I am in the midst. Ah, come on, somebody. People don't understand the power of union and they don't understand the power of covenant and they don't understand if one could put a thousand and two can put 10,000. How much more under the covenant of the Lord when the husband and wife team, the dynamic duel begins to agree with heaven of what the spirit of truth within confirms and says to see the power of God move through the power of the touch. Ah, I want to I want to emphasize and convey to you today. Sometimes Christians don't understand what you have in these hands. Sometimes you don't realize what you have on the inside of you. You need to stop looking at yourself as a mere human being and you need to understand that you are a spirit being raised from above because of Christ coming alive 
in your life and has raised you into the newness of life because of his spirit coming in you and upon you and now using your vessel to bring him glory. Jesus went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. All who were tormented by the enemy. Healing all manner of sicknesses, healing all manner of diseases and destroying and demolishing hell while his feet were upon this earth. How much more so you and me right here and right now. I'm tired of that devil. I don't know about you. And that devil's going to pay. That devil is going to pay for things that he's trying to bring my way, for things that he's trying to bring upon me and do to me. That devil is going to pay. These, these, these tormenting of demonic spirits and forces that have been coming against you, they are going to burn in hell forever. They are fearful and afraid of what's coming their way. They understand and know they are rejected and cast away already. They understand there's no redemption for them. They understand that they are done with. They understand that fear is in them because they know they are cut off from God and they cannot get it back. So what do you think they're trying to bring your way? Fear. What do you think they're trying to do to you? They're trying to take out, they're trying to take you out before your time. They're trying to put sickness upon you. They're trying to put demonic attacks upon you. The devil is a lie in Jesus' name. Get your hands upon your brothers and sisters. Lay hands upon the sick so that they shall recover, so that they shall recover, so that they shall recover. Pray the prayer of faith. It didn't say pray the prayer of hope. Well, I hope so. If it be the will of God, come on, somebody. It was the will of God when Jesus took the stripes upon his back. It was the will of God when Jesus went to the whipping post. It was the will of God and him bleeding, bleeding out from his physical body so that you and I can be healed. So when Christians say, but if it, if it be the will of God, Lord, we pray. No, the devil is a lie. I'm going to stand believing and knowing because of what the word of truth reveals, speaks, and says. Do not buy into the lie, brothers and sisters. See, God's will was revealed already. The problem we have is doubters, naysayers, mockers, and scoffers who say, where is this Lord? See, because a lot of times, what we sometimes will run into is the flesh responding and reacting and fighting to hold on to the decay of this world. Not understanding we live, we live not of it. Not understanding that we live in a different dimension and realm that we truly can tap into the spirit of Christ within to curse that sickness and that disease and every infirmity and every demonic force coming your way in Jesus' name. So I'll end with this. Look at these hands. Look at these hands. See, I don't look at my hands as just common and normal. I see my hands as holy. I see my hands as consecrated, set apart for the working of God's miracle working power. See, I don't just see my life as common and mundane, and I don't just see myself as just a normal human being. I see myself as a son that has been redeemed, who has the spirit of the living Christ on the inside of me, working through me as a point of contact to you, that, the, by, that by the power and the spirit of truth that is confirmed already, written and established through his word, finished. Gula, done in Jesus name. So what are you believing for, brothers and sisters? What are you waiting for? Get these hands upon people. Lay those hands upon people because people are waiting for the miracle, released power of the Spirit of God within you to bring forth their miracle, to bring forth their healing, to bring forth healing the brokenhearted and setting the captive free, and to do what only God through you can do to bring unto the lives to bring about the liberation for the sons and daughters of God in Christ Jesus. Is it the will? You tell me what Jesus did at the whipping post. Then 